back to break it down in LA. First ever English edition of Break It Down. We got we got the GOAT, the guy who eats Scud missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles. <laughs> you know, he intercepts them with his bare hands. Disaster is in the house. What up, man? How you been, bro? Oh my God, man. Salamat, man. How you my been, bro? Been? Been my motherfucking people out in the Philippines, man. You know what it is, man. It's been a minute since we... I'm excited to watch this battle, man. Yeah, man. Sharon and Smugglers. But before we get into the battle, I, I want to interview you, bro. Like, Me? you've been... Yeah, man. You've been out a minute. You know, the fans in the Philippines miss you. Our, our battle was like, how long was that? Yeah, I miss them, too. And the puto bombo, too. Put the bomb on. It's like 11 years ago, right? Yeah. When, when you when you last? Yeah. Like, it's or no, that like, long, more yeah. than more than like 12 years. No. That's that was 2012. Was right? it 12? I think so. Or is it 13? I think it was 12. Yeah, somewhere somewhere along that. Yeah, like 11, 12. 11. So the the puto bomb puto bomb. <laughs> Bro, you should try that again, oh man. Oh my god. And the uh, the kare kare. Check the character here, man. That was crazy. I missed that, man. So what, what have you been up to, bro? You've been, you know, locking in some battles here? Just, you know, fucking creating battle leagues and fucking getting back on my shit. You know, be traveling the world and just, you know, had a really interesting year. Brought back, you know, the Battle of the Bay. That shit was like like a dream thing that I wanted to do and accomplish. So we did that. That, that was, was such a dope happened. event, bro. Yeah. It was, man. It was one of, the, one of the most fun events I've ever been to in my life. That the was, Asesino battle was crazy, bro. How, how you did that Spanish round so flawlessly. Yeah. That fucking blew my mind, man. Might have to do it. I might have to do, uh, you know, the same type of battle, like how I did the Asesino one. Like, because when I battled you, I did a little Tagalog, but I feel like maybe it's That was not, good. That was, that it was, was just, good. It was like a 16 in the middle of like one of my rounds, right? Or yeah. even less, it was like a 12. Suntuka. Yeah, the Puntuka and all that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it was like a 12 or a 16, I think, at the most, you know? I'm thinking like... I, How do you think prepare for that, though? Like that, it was like you see like people are translate and fucking just fucking retarded shit and just asking friends and you know trying my best to just make sense of it. But I feel like what I want to say is I think it's time that we do what I did with the Asesino battle. Oh shit! Like and, in 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 Tagalog. In yeah, Tagalog? yeah, and I'm gonna have to do a whole round. So like, and then like, so one round English, one round Tagalog, third round mix. Who, who, I think who do you want to battle? Who, who do you want to battle? Who would I who would I battle out there? Yeah, so I would battle Strong smugglers. To be honest with you, I love smugglers. Man. Smugglers, I love them. Ooh, I, I feel he's like he's hot right now. He's got a, a trending battle and a trending song. Right? Yeah, Same him and week. Enigma. I would battle. Yeah. Oh, Enigma. Yeah, interesting. I would, I would definitely battle Enigma, man. That's, that's that would be a dope battle. That's like I'd love to see that. Only other guy besides smugglers I want to battle. I would rather battle Enigma than smugglers. Smugglers and Enigma. Yeah, man. Those are dope choices, and I, and I hope we get to make it. You know, this year, bro. And Nigma doesn't want that smoke with me, man. <laughs> Shots fired. Smoke. He's never wanted that smoke with me, man. Enigma. You, you know what time it is, bro. <laughs> Set it up. So, are you are you saying that um, you, do you want to do this in you know in, in what league? In King of the Dot and Flip Top? No, 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 not at all. Um, where where do you want to actually? Do this, actually, what I would do is what we originally had planned is so oh, we're going to let the cat out the bag right in the beginning right. of this motherfucking show you know what I'm saying even though we're going to keep it to the end we're going to just let the cat we, out we, the bag we were supposed <laughs> to have like a like a big announcement at the end of this but we're letting it out so, the bag right away okay so me and disaster <laughs> what are we doing we're bringing grind time to the Philippines. Yes, GTX Philippines. GTX right? Philippines, man. Philippines. So you know, better watch out for that. All the battle rappers out there. You, know, we have a lot of battle rappers who can you know rap in English. Right. And you know, we got Marshall B. We got Protege. Yeah, Protege. We got the GL, man. Shout out the Protege, bro. And even the non you know native English speakers like Smugglers. Yeah. 
Like they they've been trying their best to. He like smuggles, you know, even though he yeah, he did a little bit of English. Did did, did, did you watch the battle yet? No, I've seen clips of it, man. Like it looks amazing. I watched it once. Sharon, Sharon, and smugglers right now got me back in the battle rap. Like I'm, I haven't been watching no battle rap, like at all. Like I seriously don't even. It's like I'm not even getting nothing out of it. I feel like this is. Really entertaining from what I've seen, and he brought out the midget and all that shit. Like it already. <laughs> oh, you already, you already it seen crazy, that. but yeah. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do a GTX Philippines. We're doing it in the, in like we're not gonna give you the date right now, but the interesting thing I will say to you, yeah, so yeah, in the same, next six same. months, I will be battling on it. Woo! Enigma, if you want the smoke, you can get it. But I can, <laughs> I'm already planning on some other shit, but you can get the smoke, and and I'm announcing the return of motherfucking Looney to battle. Yeah. Like, Watch out, <laughs> so, GTX Philippines. Yeah, so you know, it's been seven years since you actually seen this legendary motherfucker, and he's the one that brought me into the, the you know, to the Filipino scene. You know, I, I'm proud of the moment me and my boy did together. You Thank know, you, to go watch Looney vs. Disaster. That was uh, the Thriller in Manila Part Two. Yeah, you know, we threw punches right there where Muhammad Ali and Fraser fought. Exactly. You know, some legendary shit, man. We had a whole fucking arena packed with motherfuckers and it was just like the next crazy. day we were in the papers and we, we had papers like we were everywhere bootleg DVD to the streets that was pushing the shit in wagons like the man. kids don't even know know about that shit yeah anymore. it was like we had DVDs they don't even know DVDs anymore we we had Manila going crazy that week and like when we went to the mall like to the uh, mall mall of Asia, Asia. Oh my God, man! Like you guys, man! It was like a stampede. We had to get the fuck up out of there, man, because they was trying to kill him, Abra. And shouts out to Abra, my dog. I love him. <laughs> that's, that's my Shout boy out. right there. That's my boy, man. Legendary Abra, man. We were all there together, and man, these guys were getting stormed so fucking hard, and people, and it was all their fans, but they knew about the battle, and they, yeah, were, they just, it was just so crazy. Well versed. What a crazy experience, man! I, I, I miss the Philippines, man. So you were. And also, I noticed, bro, like. Because I, I interact with a lot of battlers, like when yeah. they come here to the Philippines. What's different, I noticed what's different about you is you really like immerse yourself in, in the culture. Oh, like you really eat the, f the, f <laughs> the local food, you try the balut. Ah, man, you guys have me with the big balut, man. <laughs> yeah, it's. It, it, How was it, though? I love the Philippines, man. That's all I got to say, man. You got to have the Asian culture, man. You got to, you got to, you know, we were out there for like over a month, man. Like, we stayed out there for a while, and uh, yeah, I don't even when I come back, like, I don't feel like I'm just gonna come there for like a little bit, you know. I can't, I can't, I'm just this time I'm hitting the islands, bro. You yeah, know, bro, we should hit Cebu. Yeah, we're doing that, we're, we're, we're hitting everything, bro. This bro. time, we're not just staying in, you know, Philippines, whatever. watch yeah. out, <laughs> disaster. But yeah, strikes back. But yeah, we were supposed to we were supposed to announce that at the end after this fucking battle. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, excited to watch me this too, battle bro. Because this shit kind of got me back into it right now with all the stuff that's going on in the world. I kind of haven't been paying attention to battle rap, so I'm really excited about this because you know this is like my 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 realm. You know, what I mean, there's these type of battles, these international big matchups, and man, Sharon's came a far away, man. So like, I'm I'm gonna enjoy seeing what he did here. And, Sharon is probably one of the best freestyle battlers. He's for sure, 100%. Right? And I'm pretty sure he did a lot of it in this battle, so I'm interested. So. And in the Philippines, Smugglers is like... Another freestyler. Like, not just another freestyler. Like, he's like one, of, one the, of the best. Yeah, yeah, that's bro. what I meant. Another like, really good freestyler. So they're like, you know, clash of worlds. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's start it? Yeah, yeah, hit that shit. Hey, what up, it's Sharon. It's been a long time, flip top, 10 years in the making. I feel really good to be back. You know, last time I was here, I battled Skarm, I battled Zaito. Had a great time doing those two classics. And then I'm really excited to battle at this event. I, I know this is one of the staple yeah. events for Flip Top. It's one of the biggest events of the year for you guys. And I personally think Flip Top has the best crowd in battle rap, the best scene, the best fan base. I just can't wait to come out here to do the battle and put on for everyone. So me and Smugglers will be a good one. I know he hasn't battled in a while, but uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, Bale, ito isang uh, Tagalog <laughs> versus uh, <laughs> English Philip na subtitled battle. Katulad mong laban nila sa, ni Sai, nila ni Saito dati. Uh, pero dito, no. See, that's, that's what makes the, you know, the entire world tune in. is because they made subtitles for the Americans. Yeah, I got So that they can understand it. Yeah. And vice versa. Smart. 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 Sm
ko na gawing iba kahit pa paano. Pero masaya pa rin naman. So I basically hit up Enigma saying I wanted to come back to the Philippines again. I told him I'd even do a rematch with Zaido, whatever he thought was good. He said he wanted to do something a little bit different. We agreed on the idea of the subtitle battle again just because it was a cool crossover. It just shows how connected battle rap is as one, right? Like I'm battling in one language, he's battling in another language. It just shows how, how cool of a culture we have that we could all be connected and united as one. Smugglers, bro. I'm forward to the Smugglers is a rock star. I'm not sure. The Sharoni have songs? No, I don't think so. They didn't do it. No, I don't think so. 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 I don't God, I make myself so ugly. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. So ugly. The provincial man and the Kiapo kid. Flip up, make some noise for smugglers. What league started that? That was grind time, right? I don't know. We never put rapid. The, oh, yeah. you, it, it was flip top, top right? Yeah, yeah, they, but but so grind time had the... Uh, we just had stats. Stats, right? right? Like, yeah, yeah. It said hometown. That's what it was. Yeah, hometown. Yeah. Got you. Thank you. This is an honor for me. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey, what up, Flip Top? Yeah. We go hand in hand. I'll make you pay for this pussy Amsterdam. Saying he has bars is like saying I have a tan. The streets know I'm an idol. Traffic jam. They ain't come here to see you talk about my battle brand. They came here to see you get bodied by the white boy on the Alaska can. <laughs> you know that Alaska can? It's probably a, a local yeah. in the Philippines. Yeah, you yeah. got a white boy. Yeah, I figured that's... I'm I, I understood that. Do you, think, do you think he's using kitty gloves here or is he going in? Um... I like know what I think from, he's from doing. an honest point of view. From, from an honest point of view and from an experienced point of view, I think he's slowly trying to build the crowd up and not overwhelm them right away. I think he's not going into like extremely like complex shit because he's giving his feel for the crowd. Yeah. So he had just, to do that Alaska record. Yeah, and then just very just quick two syllable, you know what I mean? I feel like he's being strategic. That's what I feel. <laughs> That's true. Feel that way too. They ain't come here to see you talk about my battle brand. They came here to see you get bodied by the white boy on the Alaska can. <laughs> it's Corey Sharone. I was born with a throne. I win three. My op oh, like you ordered a phone. Sharp as the horns on a bowl. I will torture your soul. Bitch, I will shut down smugglers like Border Patrol. You're in a hole when I throw heat. This is how a psycho speaks. Your nose psycho. is the only thing uglier than Psycho's teeth. I knew Psycho was coming. <laughs> I knew Psycho was coming. <laughs> he said Psycho's teeth. Oh, that's yeah, funny. Yeah. He said Psycho's teeth? Yeah. Oh, man. Let's nose go. Nose is uglier than Psycho's teeth. Yeah, I mean, Psycho dissed me, so fuck, fuck you and good bar, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me Bustin' Jeever. You ain't gotta... <laughs> you ain't gotta yell it. I'm about to bug out. Hope you got repellent. I smashed your two sisters. Those broads were yelling. I banged them both. I couldn't just fuck one like watermelon. Jack the Ripper, I'm the casket <laughs> giver. You're worth more yeah. than me in a box like... Fuck, fuck one in Philippines is watermelon. Fuck one. <laughs> 
Those frogs were yelling. I banged them both. I couldn't just fuck one like watermelon. Jack the Ripper, I'm the casket giver. You're worth more to me in a box like an action figure. I got cash, you have a small oh stash God. like Hitler. If he saw a shell, this rat would turtle up like Master Splinter. Walter White, I'll make this crystal clear. Even though I can't understand a lyric, me losing would be an enigma here. We haven't seen you battle in like 60 years. It's like someone did a magic trick in here because they loved you versus Abra, then Cadaver, you disappeared. We thought, <laughs> we thought you moved on, I'm too strong. You won't have to lie about not getting smoked like Snoop Dogg. You're a huge fraud. Wu-Tang, I'll give him a ghost face and send him to you, God. Plus, your sister is a huge slob. Her pussy smells of salmon like your new song. It's a freebie. You're a coupon. Funny you're Filipino, but when I land, it's the stage that you lose on. Your sister oh, let me ride for a roller got more reaction for that. I'm, Yeah, I'm back in town. I put so many kids inside it, I made Nick Cannon proud. Your family loves me. I'm at the dinner with your grandma. It's maybe because the reason why it didn't get that... Um, no, on the other bar. The Luzon bar. Yeah. It's because maybe it's too archaic, probably. The, yeah, like, the Luzon. Like, yeah, it's been used so much. Yeah. Because it's, yeah, I see what you're saying. Sister, let me ride her roller coaster. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm back in town. So, you know, I'm it's really, you know, a matter of perspective if it's new to your ears. Yeah. Like for Filipinos. Also, I think he didn't set it up in a way where they could have seen it coming. Like, but I mean, he said the eye lands about Yeah. That no, was no. Awesome. But yeah, no, it was good though. I thought it was a good bar. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so many kids inside it. I made Nick Cannon proud. Your family like loves me. I'm at a dinner with your grandma now. She hugged me more than Mayweather when he fought Pacquiao. You're, <laughs> you're on a soap opera. What does that really mean though? You're the most hated Filipino that's a bitch on TV since Chris Aquino. Oh God, I'm, oh God, I'm gonna leave this fucking Filipino man. I don't know it's supposed to be Aquino. Oh. Whoever taught him that didn't teach him right. <laughs> you put the Q in there? Yeah, Aquino. Quino. <laughs> What's that really mean though? You're the most hated Filipino that's a bitch on TV since Chris Aquino. Oh God, I'm, oh God, I'm gonna make this fucking Filipino mad. I'll beat your ass up like your Filipino dad. You can see my skin light. Do this Filipino bad. You got sun by the white like the Filipino flag. Sun by the white. Yeah, I mean, that's, wow. that's Filipino flag. Dude, you don't like it? I don't know. Do you, it's do kind you of like worse. No, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's because he's, I don't know, it's a good bar because I feel like you have to find a, a simple place when you're battling to a crowd who doesn't normally hear battle in English, you know what I mean? So I it mean, can't be too much more complex than that. Like, he's, he described the flag and it's just yeah. kind of made a punchline out of it, you know what I mean? The reason I asked earlier if he, he was using Katie Gloves is because of this. You was, feel like he's catering, is that what you're saying? Like yeah, catering he's catering. It, this was a far cry from his battle with with uh, Big K. I see what you're saying. Like, yeah. he was a total... Obviously, monster. yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's going to prepare for Big K in a different way than Smuggles, you know what I mean? But I would also attribute that to the opponent, you know? he's yeah. Big K is going to strike fear in Sharon and make him right way more desperate. So, from a disaster's point of view, how did Sharon this round, do... This was a good round. It was it was maybe a little light for Sharon. Maybe a little light. A little light, yeah. Yeah, for him. But it's the first round and he's just starting. I think it's a good round, though. I think it's a really good round. He had, like, some good bars in there. What what was the other bar that I really liked? I don't know, but it was a really good round. I think it's good to break the ice and then see what Smugglers is going to do. I, I'm judging more on the second round now. All right. Well, yeah. Ready to hear Smugglers? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> 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 he fucked my sister. That type of line is worn out. You're just jealous because your wife Vanessa looks like stepmom from Pornhub. <laughs> stepmom from Pornhub. Oh my wow. God! Hold on, stop was that. Bro, so <laughs> <laughs> he, he rhymed it with burnout, and it was freestyle. No, he said, he said your mom looks like 
No, he said your bit, your girl looks like stepmom from Pornhub. Yo, that's an amazing line because like he didn't say she looks like the average stepmom on Pornhub. Yeah, like he did it with like such simple English. He's like, she looks like stepmom step from, from Pornhub. Pornhub. Yeah, and it's an amazing observation because like. It was a that's an too amazing hard. observation. It wasn't trying too hard, but it was driving the point home. No, but that's like a crazy line for him. I don't know. <laughs> There's something about this line that's really good. <laughs> and he rhymed it well too. It was. I don't know if what it did was he rhyme it with. Hold on, what was that? Worn out. Worn out. out. Oh. Worn out. Wait, worn. Worn out. What? Worn out. He said that line is worn out. I don't know if it's a pre. Worn out and Pornhub don't rhyme though. But it's all yeah, but he made it work with with the Filipino accent. He said. He fucks my sister. That type of line is worn out. You're just jealous because your wife Vanessa looks like stepmom from Pornhub. I see what you're saying. And see how he like a, used the accent. Accent, like, yeah. So he he saw the Filipino five. accent has like only five vowel sounds. Yeah, he used that. We don't have the A. We don't have the E's. We only have I A E O U. Okay, that's why it's a different way of. Yeah, like he, he made it work. He can rhyme words that you don't usually rhyme using the American accent or okay, not even the British yeah, accent. Clearly, I see that. That's good. That's good. That's good. He fucks my sister. That type of line is worn out. You're just jealous because your wife Vanessa looks like stepmom from Pornhub. <laughs> and he said, I got an ugly nose. Wow, that was so lit. I got a big nose, I got a big nose, oh no, everybody knows shit. I said, like, I don't care, everybody, everybody knows, knows it. Oh, everybody knows, knows it. it, I got you. Oh, that was good. Smoke. Oh, singing a local yeah, song yeah, yeah, about bro. Pinoy's being proud of their flat yeah, noses. Yeah, that's so crazy, yeah. bro. Wow. Oh, gago di pang ochabi lang yan. Mataros pag nakaside you. Tignan mo lang ganyan. Oh, parang nakapak you. Yo, that punchline is so much better in Tagalog than what it is in English. English. Like, yeah. See? Like, I feel it. Like, yeah. I felt it. Like, I really understand. Like, because yeah. the fuck you, like, the way he said yeah. that should have been. You said <laughs> some titles too, right? So it's giving Yeah, me... like, I get, like, that was a great bar. The side view, he rhymed it with the, with the, the fuck you. Yeah, man. like, it's so good. So good, Smugglers. Smugglers <laughs> do great to start this off, bro. <laughs> Ships and shit. They yeah. sent it here in the Philippines and it became a national issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Wow. Santo! Great. Great. Ang tagal kung walang battle, este. <clears throat> I haven't battled in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't part. matter. You're the one from Toronto, but I am the rapper. Oh. Rapper slash actor. You look like a sad banker. Wanna be the best? <laughs> All you do all day is withdraw deposit and cash transfer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fire, bro. Oh my god, what did he say right here? So what was the beginning part of what he meant? He was like, uh... What, the English part? Well, I hear he said, he said he, he's from t Toronto, but I'm the rapper. I'm the rapper, I get that. Because Smugglers yeah. is a famous actor in the Philippines. Right, he's okay. got a So he said I'm an actor. Soap right. opera, yeah. So but after that? Rapper slash, are you like a wannabe? Want to be backpacker? You look like a sad banker. All you do all day is like withdraw, 
Okay, that's yeah, why I want the part. Star. All you do all day is just like, hold on. You look like a sad panther. Wanna be back panther. All you do all day is withdraw the posse and gas panther. All you do all day is withdraw the posse and cash transfer. All you do all day is withdraw the posse and cash transfer. Beating me is like you saying you will be the new lead in Black Panther. <laughs> me, from Provinciano to the number one front time till a serious rival. Keep Black versus Tango. <laughs> then all of a sudden, after, while I'm busy with my bag and piapo, this huge opportunity knocks on my door. <laughs> it knocks on my door like a Mormon pastor with a coloring book Bible. Yo, that's crazy you rhyme my door with pastor. And Bible, right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's really good, man. Whatever he's really? doing, like, sonically, that shit is fucking crazy. It's a Filipino accent. Yeah, I love it, bro. I love what he's doing. He really read the words. Can I say, you gonna have a sing Mr. White? Uh, are you sure, bro? Uh, it's nice to meet you, sir. Can you please raise your hand? Putang ina mo, hold back to! Sorry, sorry. Wala ko dating ka. Nag-PM kasi si Arik, bakil ka ako. Tinanong ko kung kailan at yung venue kung saan. Kala ko pa naman, M&M na, MJK lang pala. Bakit? Eh, doon ako dyan. Pinanggihan ka ni Lumi, sinyo Shelly, tas ako yung sumalo. Baka ungrateful ka pa niyan. Wala ka pa sa Pinas, Brad. You're welcome in advance na agad. Hoy, mag-thank you ka naman. And he really wanted to battle you. So, anong gift? Yeah, Enigma hit me up. Supposed to battle him, but I was busy with the album. I just released my album recently, like last month. Right. Took me like six months to finish it, so. This year, I'm back in battle rap. Yeah. GTX. Smuggler versus anak sa labas na red board na 15 years na nagmimit. That joke really hit because it's a recent gossip, local gossip. That was funny. That was really good. Pansta agad, hoy, mag-thank you ka naman! So ngayon, anong gimmick? Smuggler versus anak sa labas na red board na 15 years na nagmimit. Ang dami na nagbago sa mga naging taon. Yung player nyo na dating pang barangay lang yung international na, o, oh, di ba, ang laking talon? Sa sobrang excite, para ang sarap pagmura ng malutong ng poa, adi, ganon. Pero hahayag na din to sa sarili niyang mantika sa rason na machichicha si Charon ngayon na parang chicharon. Chicharon? Charon? Chicha? Chicharon? Hindi <laughs> ko naman expected nyo na yun. Pero alam niyo ba kung bakit siya tinawag na Sharon? Ikaw, alam mo kung bakit siya tinawag na Sharon? Kasi parang Canada, Philippines, kaya pala Sharon. Kasi tanga-tanga na siya dito, bobo pa Sharon! That's good. Seryoso ha? Sa mga tinakakilala kay Sharon? It's a cross-language wordplay. I see that. Sharon over here. Over there. Sharon means over there. So he's stupid. Over here is also a dumbass over there. Yeah, that's so good. Canada, Philippines, kaya pala siya ron. Kasi tanga-tanga na siya dito, bobo pa siya ron. Seryoso ha? Sa mga tinakakilala ng Sharon, isang isikat na Canadian... Sharon. Sharon? Yeah, Sharon. Ah, gotcha. At yung MC mula sa KOTV. Bumabati overseas para tumulong papalawa ang rap battle scene. In short, puraot ng views. Sir! Wait, you call it the leaks for a minute? Yeah. Because it's, it's a thing now in the Philippines. They call it Pinoy baiting. Bro. Right. Because a lot of like foreigners, that's why a lot of people respect you. Because even before that became a thing in the Philippines, you were there like showing love. But after like everything blew up, in the internet, because I think Philippines right now is n the number two country that like still shares That's comments crazy. and social media. So you know everybody around the world has gotten wind of that, especially the Westerners. So they do like all these fake reaction video videos, right. like they they pretend that they're all woo, because because you know Fili you know Filipinos need that validation. A anyone, a anybody from a third world country. 
you know, they would want validation from Yeah, we, we, it's the same for us, but... Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah man. It's the same for everyone, man. Bumabati overseas, para tumulong, papalawa, ang rap battle scene, in short, uraot ng views. Sir! See, the people, people know. Sir, bakit ba talaga reason ni Mac Arthur kaya siya na pa-ISAL return? O baka naman may collab sila ni Corey Jones magko-content ng poverty perk? Yeah, that's e, big. Parang galing naman eh, diba? In the Philippines, it's big, yeah. Like, a lot, a lot of foreigners come out there and they just give money to, like, gotcha, people yeah. and they film it. Yeah, of course. It gets lots of views. They even get more money from it. So, that's their thing there. Poverty porn, crazy. Sid, so, we're learning new things over here. <laughs> Smugglers around us. Hello, <laughs> well, that's what he's known for. He doesn't, like, he's the Prince of Persia over there. <laughs> he controls time. <laughs> he, he never follows the time. Yeah, 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 that's why that feels like supposedly too many. Oh, <laughs> naman may collab sila ni Corey Jones magko-content ng poverty perk. Eh, parang galing galing naman eh, di ba? Kunwari, bukas palad. Tumutulong. Pero mabilis kong natus at abisko ay sus. Kulang na lang sabihin niyang palimus po ng Diyos. <laughs> Tanginga, Tagalog versus English knows bleed yun ang akala niyo po. Nang malamang kung Tagalog versus English solid, puta babahan ang dugo. This is gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> See, the, the difference is, is because... Is something? No, nah, it's, it's a difference between, you know, the, the sense of humor... American and Filipinos, because there's there's a there's a Filipino joke like when when you when you're hard when it's hard for you to speak English or understand English they call it nosebleed. Oh or, really? Yeah, my nose is bleeding. <laughs> I can't understand you. So it's funny for Filipinos, but they don't understand it. It's not funny. Like the rest of the world doesn't get that joke. So yeah. they they always try to do that joke when they, when there's foreigners around. It's, uh, it's a common joke that foreigners don't get. Like, what do you mean nosebleed? Like, no, my nose bleed, you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are trolls. <laughs> they, they're just trying to be yeah. funny. Ah, that's amazing humor, bro. <laughs> so that's what he was referencing here. It's, like, ache, man. it's <laughs> going to be a bloodbath because of the blood from the, his nose. Because of the difficulty of <laughs> what he's doing. Tagalog versus English nosebleed, yun ang akala nyo po. Nang malamang kung Tagalog versus English solid, puta babahan ang dugo. This is gonna be a bloodbath! <laughs> Promise! You will be surely amazed! Mapapamura to ng sana sa bitch magapaka para silang palantag this dictionary booklet sa face na sinali sa supercomputer na naka-super upgrade newly update, uri ng blade na kabilaan ng palas ng angas parang smuggler sa naka-google translate! <laughs> Speaking of translate, dapat pala sinama ko si Badang, no? <laughs> Para on the spot yung Tagalog to English itinatranslate niya. O kaya nagsama ako ng mga geng-geng, red and blues, para may tiga sign language pa. Pero ang tanong, paano po titindigan? Kung di ba ang titindigan? Kung ano nalang masabi ba ang papanindigan? Sa kadimun na matapat, ikisun ba tapat, akit, iwan tigo, tapat, 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 tigo, kada, haaa! Tapalak ito ko doon, suling matabo. Tapalak ito ko doon, tuling matabo. Tapalak paraga, sumpakal agad doon, maripans na ito, sabay-sabay, sigaw, ayaw! Sharon's <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, bro, Sharon thinks he's actually saying something. Sharon's <laughs> like, hell yeah, he's fucking me up right now. He's not saying nothing, Sharon. Yeah, bro. He didn't say you can tell from his smile, bro. He doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he thinks bars are coming. Bro. He's like, bro, Sharon's like, yeah, that's just sound crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I like this. Rap, na para ba? Bilibig na buhay ni 
siya man nakabalang susang ang ina. Malay ka kung akala kung ito'y sinuswerte sa akin. Paggamit mo ng cookies at balat mo ng strap, di na po pwede sa akin. In English, white power ain't gonna fly here like the Duterte yan. Mainit na tinanggap mo ito, may kang malamit. That was just not common on that one. That was an awkward bar. Hey, let's keep that going, bro. You know, we don't want to talk about that. English, white power ain't gonna fly here like the Duterte yan. Painit na tinanggap pero uuwi kang malamig Ang trato namin asta Yok lang, parang tokhang ang patayan mas pa Sa pinasok mong gera yan Nasa ka man mahimlay dyan Banda kong body bag Uso sa inyo, iho dito Balik bayan baka Wow, that was cool See, the Philippines We got boxes called Balik bayan boxes They're like Like when you send like imported shit home. Yeah. That's where they that's where they put it. So it's like instead of a body bag, you're going home in a body buying box. So that's what he said there. How 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 would you rate that round like I think he he, he beat Sharon that round, but I think he cheated. I think he, the, the the round was too long, right? Yeah, he cheated. <laughs> I mean he clearly beat Sharon's round but he didn't stick to the time limit at all. That's true. That's I don't know. I'm I factor that in bro like like either you gotta, you gotta agree who doesn't follow. No, I limits. see you're wrong about that. That's all. I, <laughs> all I do is is follow the time limit, and people fuck me. Like that's oh, all yeah. they do, bro. They're all cowards. Everybody that I've ever battled is a fucking coward. Like they they lie in the beginning and they go, let's do this. At all of them, they're fucking cowards. They're scared to fucking battle, bro. And like, if so they change it up last yeah, year. Yeah, all of them. They're fucking bitch ass fucking pussies, bro. Every single <laughs> dude that's ever done that to me, bro. Like real shit. Yeah. Um, it's just because. Like, they don't really have, like, like, a lot of people just have, like, one, two minutes worth of good shit. They can't really rap for longer than that. Yes. Uh, but what was my point? What I was trying to say was, um, I, I, I factor that in there because you can't lie. Like, that's what they did to me, like, throughout, like, all, like, all the last battles that I've done, I fucking went stuck to the time limit. Motherfuckers don't stick to the time limit, bro. Because they know you can do it off the top. Yeah, and I, I just at this, point, at this point I'm gonna start like factoring that in there either because I don't I don't believe that it matters. I believe that you should be able to rap longer. Like in in a, in a normal situation, I, I wouldn't give Sharon a handicap. Smugglers fucking took that fucking round. But if you're gonna tell the guy like stick to two minutes, and then the motherfucker doesn't go over, and then you go over, it's kind of cheating because you were scared to let him go. So how do you factor in that in? Like, do you just factor in the first two minutes, or you just know the entire? I don't know how I feel about the round at this point. Like, I know that like obviously he took it, but like, like he took it. Smugglers takes that round, but it's not fair for Sharon. Like, you know why he did it? Sharon could have easily. It's, it's a promo battle. They didn't judge it. I get that, but still, he yeah. grabbed five fucking minutes, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Double his round. Bro. That's true. More than double. That's a lot more. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's also one thing that, you know, battle rappers... Bro, when I battle right? easy, the block captain, that fucking clown-ass fucking coward, that's what he did. That's one of the fucking... But you, you kept most it... Most disingenuous, like, people, like, when you... When you, you kept you it concise there, though. Bro, he had, like, a fucking seven or eight-minute round or some shit because he choked in the second round, and then he put the whole rest of his round in his third round. It wasn't even good, like, though. Man. Of course it was But I'm saying, like, it just goes to show you, like, dude, nobody... Like, motherfuckers will tell you, like, they're gonna stick to this... Uh, time limit because they're scared you're gonna go over. You know what I mean? I've never battled somebody where I was worried what they were gonna do. Like yeah. the fuck? They're the ones who worry and shit. That's true. But yeah, I mean, like I said, so Sharon could have got an extra two minutes in there. It would have probably been a different round. <laughs> yeah, that's two true. Two fucking minutes. It's not like fifteen or twenty seconds. Yeah, man. But yeah, Smugglers took that round. All right, let's go second round. Yeah, let's judge it run round by round. The, the, like the atmosphere is different there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you you know that, right? Were you there for this album? Nah, I wasn't there. I was preparing for my album launch. Oh, got you. See, when you rap in all of yours, hippity, 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 you're a clown. <laughs> hippity, ha, ha, you're a clown. You think that's a perfect sound? The only thing faster than your raps is how fast girls. 
hell's turning down. Mm-hmm. See, I've done flips, I'm a run this, you're a dumb bitch, you can cut quick like your son's wrist. Trying to hit me with all of these fast raps, I have substance. My bars have more speed than Zyto on a drug binge. Wait, hold on one second. See, he so raps in English. Like you can cut like your son's wrists? Yeah, just let me, just a filler line. He, he that knows. isn't like a real line, is it? Like, did his kid nah. attempt to slit his wrist? Nah, it's like oh, a filler line. Okay. It's a freestyle filler line. Oh, that's crazy. I thought that was a line. <laughs> I he thought was, he really did that. He called him out on that. That's crazy. Nah, he was he was going for the... He was a flip. Not like these fast raps, I have substance. My bars have more speed than Zyto on a drug binge. Yeah. You keep trying... See, he raps in English, and you just laugh. To a slug glass. I'll shoot him while he's taking a shower. Now that's a bloodbath. Oh. So he caught up the blood bath See, again. He, he yeah. rebuttaled the blood bath. Yeah, I remember. Shoot you while taking a shower. How do you feel about that laugh? Shoot you while taking a shower? It's a blood bath. I mean, that's no. a free stuff. Oh, yeah. You can't expect it to be too crazy. <laughs> Just laugh to a slug blast. I'll but shoot. the thing that you did, the one with the, with the sirens when you battled... Who's that dude? What's his name? You talking about the Doppler effect? The Doppler effect. That was a crazy. Yeah, bro. That's how crazy. Is that, how is it that like people in America don't even fucking catch on to that shit, man? You do. Like it's yeah, proof it's that so everybody amazing. outside of America is Not smarter only me, than bro. people here. Like, like the the people listen to fucking rap. Everyone from other countries is smarter than people here, bro. That's what I've learned. <laughs> like. I, I get motherfuckers where English is their second and third language bringing up the shit to me. Yeah. It's like mind blowing. Like the, yeah, the Doppler crazy. effect is probably one of the craziest bars that's ever been said in ever. hip-hop. History. In hip-hop, yeah. the history of I, anything. I that. Like it's so beyond what battle rappers can do, they can't even process it. They're all like fucking... That's an observation. It's like, it's like all of battle rap right here, and then there's me with the Doppler effect thing. Like they could never like even come close to that. They should check that out. They should check that out. It was against um, um, fa- uh, Hayes the Family Man. Yeah, uh, Family Man. Yeah. Family Man. Exactly. The third the round. Family Man. In the third round, the ambulance comes in the background and starts going off, and I start rhyming about it and create a whole... Entire that like, was think crazy. about the Doppler effect and how like things sound closer than they are, like a siren sounds. And I know that you would normally I talk about that, that in, shit out in real time. Bro. I, I also know that you would normally talk about that shit in like normal convo, and that was nothing to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, <laughs> that was I'm, nothing I'm to tripping you. that that even happened. But yeah, it's crazy that you called. But me. the way the way you found the rhymes, I don't even know. For, <laughs> I don't don't even ask me. That's just alien shit. With more speed than Zyto on a drug binge. You uh, keep trying. Uh, See, he uh, raps in English, and you just laugh to a slug blast. I'll shoot him while he's taking a shower. Now that's a bloodbath. You uh, try- it's actually a really good bar because, See, like, like in America, shoot you while you're taking a shower would be like, oh, that's not that good. But like, bro, he like simplified it back to like, it's actually perfect. I think yeah. it's a good bar, and it's a it's it's a rebuttal to the bloodbath thing. It's really good. Yeah, that's that's true. It's another one of Sean. It was just you know in Filipino stuff. context, it was more of a given. Yeah, I yeah. see. That was fucking really good. You trying to say that you are the one that is sicker? He's saying that I sell the Bible at his door. Well, on God, I'm the winner. If I'm selling the Bible, then I crucify the sinner. It's funny he said I'm a Mormon, but no one's had sex with more men than your sister. (laughs) (laughs) That was really good. (laughs) The way way he pointed at that. It like the, more, the Mormon Mormon has been done to death, right? Still, the, the way the way he. I think that like the the structure of that is like, uh, it's like prototype fucking battle rap for yeah. me. Like it's like the the way you battle. Like it's a long winded rebuttal. But like just the way it's structured is so battle rappy. Like not like the new age street bullshit. Like this is like grind this, time. Yeah, era. this is like real real battle rap shit. True, true. <laughs> Like four foot thirteen, ain't no one stopping me. What are you like? Four foot thirteen? Four foot thirteen. Ain't no one stopping me. He said my girlfriend is on Pornhub. Talking about porn? Why are you even blocking me? Because if I fuck up this little kid on cam, that's child pornography. Oh. Is 
sending trash to Canada. Ooh, we have different bars, we have different crazy. bars, we have different acts, we have different shows. I'm on Canada's that's best crazy. rappers. You're on America's funniest home videos. His, his How did that happen seat? right now? I'm trying to figure out like the rebuttal. Yeah, he rebutted but, like, it. To how, he, that, that's what amazing about it because he said it in Tagalog and he somehow like picked up all the words and he rebuttaled it. I don't, I don't feel. I feel like he didn't even know he said that to him. That's what I was asking him. Like, how did you rebuttal that? Yeah. So what did he say to you? You asked him. It's, yeah. I really I want to him. know how Sharon. I asked him. He said, said "How did you rebuttal that shit?" He said, um, "He just picked up all the words and just, you know." But he didn't know that that's what he was saying because it's technically not a rebuttal. He said the same thing to him. Yeah, the same thing. He said the same the trash. He said the same rhyme like. Or I'm maybe, trying to figure out what yeah, happened it's, there. It's maybe, maybe, maybe maybe it's because it's such a like a. I feel like he already had the line. It's a well known issue. It's a pre med. It's a pre med. Yeah. Sure. That's what I was about to say. For it was sure, a pre med because it's a it's a well known issue. It's a Canada Philippines. It's issue. a pre med. Yeah. The way he delivered it, it's like a pre med. It is. It's so. Per, it's too. But perfect. like he's freestyling in between all of it. He's pu pulling pre meds and throwing them in there, and that was one of them. And it just happened to be extremely similar. And it's also not easy to do, to too, right? Run. Like, for you as a freestyler, I mean, that's pretty hard. Like, I mean, it's easy for me to do, but it's not easy to make it sound, like, crispy and perfect. That's what it's not easy to do. Yeah, because that's, that's the thing about it. That's the, the thing is you got to make it look easy, right? Not yeah. make it look complicated. The idea is to make, make it sound effortless. We have different bars, we have different flows, we have different acts, we have different shows. I'm on Canada's best rappers. You're on America's funniest home videos. His, well, his favorite true. season? His favorite season? Yeah, he fell off the stage when he was battling. He made it there. Oh my god, that's <laughs> Fell off the stage, bro. It's fall. He, he ain't hype. <laughs> Season, his favorite season is fall. He, he ain't hype. <laughs> his favorite season is fall. He ain't hype. I've seen you fuck up on stage twice. Hey, fellow. Bitch, if I stomp through the stage, we'd be the same height. You have a strange relationship with stages. You're afraid, right? That's why he hasn't battled in six years. He has stage fright. You stay, <laughs> you stay alive. You just got a whooping. Your nose is so big, even in the Philippines, you can smell what the rock is cooking. You can, you can smell farts before they come out. Your life is awful. You have a giant snozzle. The reason you're a smuggler because you can fit a brick of coke inside your nostrils. We both fall off stage if you start to sneeze. I feel, I feel really weird use about this, this, this angle from Sherrod so since he already fucking pre-rebuttaled it. Smugglers did. Yeah. Like with the whole song and like talking about like our mm -hmm. noses. And yeah. yeah, like, and like, He's still going still, on about it. You know what I mean? That I, I shows know. that he has. I he, feel like he diffused that a little. He doesn't bit. have like any more material. Like he still went with the original material. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah. But let's hear if it gets better. Else can leave. <laughs> it's on dropping threes. The clock will squeeze. The Philippines loves how this white boy shoots. I'm Austin Reeves. Why'd you, <laughs> why'd you leave? Enigma gave you guidance and structure. Flip tops of family, y'all supposed to grind with each other. You quit to do music once time's getting tougher. Funny you only rap in double time, but put in half the time as your brothers. Y'all built this good. together. Yeah, that was your dream. Line. Then you happened to leave and turned your back on your team. I've been battled in six years. Think your status supreme? How's your album called Walking Distance when you ran from the scene? You're on the this is really so yeah, yeah, that's the... Form Sharon. Yeah, you he was can fucking tell around. In yeah, the you can tell he's trying right now. Like you can yeah. tell. Like yeah, he's fucking him up right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying personal shit. Yeah. yeah, that was on point too. 
He knew the album title, everything. Yeah. You're on a soap opera. You're too much of a star to battle. I don't get sunlight because I'm white. It's hard to hang. You don't get sunlight because you're stuck in Coco Mountain shadow. Mm. Everyone he knows is big, and his nose is big. Bitch, stop. They have to put out a tsunami warning when you drip snot. They say you have the best rebuttals in all the pit pot. Well, I came to the Philippines because I put the flip in the flip top. They'll be, they'll be seeing your ass in a hospital from close range initially. I hit my target, so how could my protege have better flips than me? I hit your little CISA G spot. She got some dick from me, but I had to fuck her when I was drunk. I gave her that tipsy D. <laughs> He's referencing Battler names, but it was kind of. Um, Tipsy D. <laughs> I battled that dude. <laughs> yeah, Sharon is funny. <laughs> Tipsy funny. D. Uh, what do you feel about the oh, second round? Oh, that over? Yeah. It was a really good round. That was a way better round. Than his first, right? Yeah, yeah. That was harder to top. Let's do Smugglers. Yeah. I mean, they don't really like, they don't like freestyling in America, period. They're not into it. They want to just hear written, written shit. But during your time, was it like, you just rebuttal one line, two lines? What, what I, was I mean, I just, I always be saying shit all throughout it. I don't know if you could over rebuttal, no. If you suck, yeah. As long as you're doing good, no. Alright. As long as the bar's hitting, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people just rebuttal just for the sake of rebuttal. Yeah. I remember what you said. You said this, and I'm going to say this. I mean, yeah, a lot of people were rebuttal just for rebuttal. But that was cool. That's straight from the goat. <laughs> that was cool. According to statistics, Canadian men are naturally blessed with large cups. <laughs> they say it's long, but thin, like the straw from the Starbucks. See, the straw see, from Starbucks. See, this is what I was talking about. It's a different in the sense of humor, right? I understand that. I like dig you, jokes. You don't have to. You don't have to explain that to me because well, how you like, feel America is like a homophobic culture. So, like in America, like you say the word "dick," people are like, "Oh, dicks!" Like <laughs> one might slide in my ass by accident, type of shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like America, like in Lebanon, like we have the same type of jokes. Nobody, yeah, like, yeah. half the customers are like "dick in your mouth," "dick in you," and fucking "hey, yeah. you think it's like it sounds." Like, if you translate it, it's gay. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but, like, nobody... Doesn't just, threaten their man. Nah, yeah. Like, we don't have that, like, where people are, Ooh! Oh, yeah. You know? Like, oh, you're saying get paused. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know. That's you know? true. But that's not pause-worthy shit where I'm from. But, I mean, here in America, it definitely is. It's so classic. You can even... Classic. They say it's long. But thin, like the straw from the Starbucks. Star star Very soft and classy, you can even do hard fuck. In Tagalog, pakahet na kong magtot. Your penis is like your whole description in two words. Malaki na malambot. Because of your appearance, yeah, some of our English Filipino smuggles. women yeah. think that you're yeah, the Yeah, smugglers, man, this is not but the angle, bro. That... I hope they translate this part to you, bro. You, you... <laughs> You were doing good, man. I don't, I, hey, bro, you know, I, I got love for you, man. I was trying to, like, I was really rooting for you against Sharon, man. I wanted you to fucking do good, man. But Sharon's, you know, he's, he's, he's sticking to the regular shit right now, man. He's not going into, like, these weird angles, bro. Like, this is not a good angle, bro. Like, 
that big and soft shit, like it's not a punchline, bro. That's not a fun. That's not a fucking punchline, bro. You like throwing the round away, man. You took the first round. I don't know how you gonna win this round. <laughs> it shit won one already, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how he does. It isn't Nana. Pero'y average size is good enough but even no Viagra, talaga sarap ang ulang yung romansa, yung tigas sa gambayag na. Sarap mong ereto sa Pilipinang mukhang pera kang maubos ka kapadala tas malama mong dami ang kaulang sakit sa ulo. Kamukha ko pa naman yung mga mga ganyang asunto na nagre-reklamo sa kulpo. Palo, solid kasi bay. Fetish nila mga exotic na pinay. Parang Jehan, tagapagpatay. So oh, he mentioned the homie Jay Hart. Yeah, he's talking Shout about... Shout out to Putin Calabao. Putin Calabao. Oh. Putin. <laughs> he, All right. He's saying that he's just here for Filipino pussy. Like, he's trying to be like... Um, that's, such a, like that's such a, like, cheap... Cheap angle, though. Like, when I go to countries and I battle people, they always say that. Yeah. Like, in England, you're only here to have sex with the girls, bruv. When I go over there, they're like, you're here to fuck out of here, man. It's like, shut up, bitch. Like, that's just a bonus, you motherfuckers. Yeah. That's a bonus. You know what I mean? We're not here for that. We're here to kick your asses and get paid, and then fucking everything else is a bonus. Like, fucking your bitch. It's always, it's always an angle. Kamukha mo pa naman yung mga may ganyang asunto na nagre-reklamo sa tulpo. Paano? Solid kasi bay. Fetish nila mga exotic na pinay. Parang Jehan, tagapagpatahimik na mga chismosa na chimay. The size of the gossip he made? Malinis ka? Did he diss Jehan then? Yeah, because Jehan's got a lie where... Like he said, hey, hey smugglers, watch your mouth, man. <laughs> he said he rapes maids. Like, what? <laughs> hey, man, don't talk about the homie like that. Manamputas? Kago, may nasilip ako sa'yo. Wala nga lang hugas. Kasi puro lang yan, punas! Talking about his butt, huh? Rito! Yeah, smugglers, bro. Awan ko kayo na ilan libong puno ang pinuputol ka agad ako. All right, I'm going to say it in a nutshell. The, the angle here is like how Americans fight over like uh, toilet rolls during the pandemic. Okay. And, and the Filipinos, they use like water to wash their asses. Right. That's why we don't have every that day, problem. Every day, yeah. He's using that. He's using that here. Like, that's why he's I see doing it. that, the, the butthole thing. Yeah, butthole bars. Something we have to deal with. Because <laughs> puro lang yan, punas! Yeah. <laughs> 
Suicide, man. Like, Sharon will turn the whole crowd on you with some shit like that. Or you bring a midget out. Like, you should know. Like, yeah. when you battle someone like Sharon, you can't do something like out of the ordinary. No extra shit. You can't bring nobody on stage battling Sharon. Don't bring no signs. Don't bring a prop. Yeah. Don't, like, add anything in there and use it because he's going to take that momentum and he's going to reverse it on you and you're going to look stupid. Like, the midget, like, I could have told him, do not bring the fucking midget on stage, bro. Yeah. Like, there's no point in the punchline. Like, like smugglers wait, like, risk a whole entire... Like, Sharon created a whole round off a line that was meant to be David and Goliath and Baby Giant. Like, yeah, great multi, true. but it's like... That's it doesn't have a fucking... A powerful impact to it. It's easy for someone to come and flip it back and turn it into their strongest haymaker. And then you look stupid because that was your strongest move. Yeah, and it so you showed everybody your, your biggest shock move was bringing this little midget out. And now, like, Sharon responds to the midget and now starts battling him and gets on his knees and starts talking like he's an insect, bro. Right, right. True, true. It worked against him. <laughs> yeah, bro. He came up short. Yeah, man. He <laughs> came up short. He didn't say it like, she knew Pat Conan on him, bro. 
He really did really a really good. good hard accent. Yeah, really good. Up to my door. I'm like, is that my hoe? Then you know what happened, bro? She knew Pai Kun Na 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 Mo. And then he was like, <laughs> his boy too was like, his boy was like, Yeah, we know. Why is that your name <laughs> when you're not dealing drugs? Y'all think he's a thug? Not even American people are feeling smug. Try to test me, you'll die of envy. Funny your name smugglers when these lines are heavy. You think Enigma has cocaine on sight and ready. Pablo Escobar, he gave smugglers something white and deadly. Life is empty. No compliance, got this down to a global science. The whole world knows I'm sick. I'm the Sharona virus. You're on TV. I don't even have to try. Matthew Perry, even though we're friends, you'll see this actor die. Oh God, I'll pop off when you're passing by. I will dog walk Brian like family guy. He, he is him, I need to win. If I leave a rock in the Philippines, would that be a sin? When I said rock? A sin? Did you hear all of the verse? <laughs> Wait, I said what? Cross language wordplay. He's trying to do it in English Tagalog. Yeah. That's dope. A sin, a sin is salt in Tagalog. Sin? Did you hear all of the verse? I think you got it reversed. It would be a sin. This is the biggest assault of the earth. Don't for the verse. Glory's a beast. You need to come back to battle rap. Stop recording on beats. They've seen you fall off the most. They've seen me fall off the least. My name's Sharon, but you change up so much they should call you Sharice. Real talk. Real talk, I'll embarrass you. Put some money up. I ain't scared of you. It's funny I got more coin and I came here to bury you. But I love the Philippines. Y'all fill up arenas. I earn my stripes. You're only good for three lines like Adidas. I want to come back every ten years. I love the way you treat us. Flip Top's my favorite place to battle. Salamat, Filipinas. What you gotta say, is that better than his second round? Um, yeah, probably. I don't know. It was a really good round. It was like he was getting stronger. And yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was good. That was, he, he might take the battle with that. We gotta see what the smugglers gonna do about this. You haven't battled Sharon, right? Yeah. Ever? No. Would we, we, we you give him a chance? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it. I definitely, I definitely want to battle him at some point before I fucking retire American battle rap. That would be dope, man. But as of right now, I'm not even doing no more battles out here. That's it. Like, the only dude I'm going to battle is this Israeli dude named Kosher Dills. And if he doesn't fucking battle me, I'm not battling anybody. I'm going to do a lot of international shit, though. And then the, same, and then the, the GTX Philippines. Yeah, we're doing a bunch of shit. All right, a man. bunch of shit in Europe and Africa. Worldwide. Everywhere shit. and a lot of other countries in Asia too. I'm going to India. That's dope. Yeah. Alright, man. Let's do the, let's do the smugglers for last round. This is the last round.
Credibilidad ng smugglers may class kahit na laki man sa streets. No need for gun bars, bibig ko na mismo yung baril pag nag-speed in. I just angle. move my kids yeah. out of the hood. That's the real gangsta shit. Ooh, this angle. Sa battle oh, eggs, pinakil yeah. May 111 battles ka na, diba? Ako, pitong single at apat na dos por dos lang ang ambag ko sa liga. Pitong taon pang walang battle at sampa partida, views ng 111 mo, triple lang ng isang kanta ko. Oh, hasta la vista! <laughs> Parehas tayo may battle. Music, showbiz, kasi talentado. Pero magaling lang to pag may kalaban, di lang MC mahina to. Ako kahit mahulog, merong palusot, ganyan kain sa'yo. Kahit pareklamo, proven na nang wawasak ng entablado. Kahit na walang tinatapa ang ibang tao. So let me clear this one. They say in Canada, you pronounce about us a book. <laughs> so you're telling me you pronounce a mouse as a moose? <laughs> Yo, this is amazing. Here in Philippines, we have a mouse. <laughs> that is the size of a moose. <laughs> this is amazing. How is nobody laughing? How is Instead nobody chasing laughing? Now, he's chasing blood. <laughs> he got his own version of wild and not. He calls it wild and not. <laughs> <laughs> about is a book, a mouse is a moose, so fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> A boot. Wow, I'm the talking note. a boot. Wow, the note. <laughs> what a dick. He's chasing blood. Chasing blood. He got his own version of wild and nut. He calls it wild and nut. <laughs> About is a boot, a mouse is a moose, so fuck you, fuck you. You better eat dick. You've always been a real prick. He didn't see made it because he went from side to cannon to lick cannon real quick. Eh, ba't nandito ka ulit? Ah, alam na. Sobrang lakas kasi ng Pinoy hip-hop mga par. Ultimo si Eminem. Si Eminem. Kasagap tayo sa radar. Kaya ko si Loco kahit promo. Hey, you heard about that? Eminem what? signing Easy Mail? Yeah, Easy Mail, man. That's the hard one. Easy Mail. Really, really good. I love man. him, man. Yeah, me and him chopped it up a couple times. He's the homie. He's the homie. Hell yeah. So he's trying to talk about like how, you know, Philippine hip hop is so strong that even Eminem is, e like, yeah, yeah. is you know, Let's paying go, attention. Man. And I think it's trying to go different route with this. Let's see. Naganado, fantastic mga plano. Basta Pinoy market, easy mil views yun ang magic na panalo. This is what happened when Pinoy baiting strategy meets colonial mental. A farm child activate. Feeder ng ego ng mga kapwa Pilipino kung sabit na ma-validate. Na mga dayuhang kunwaring feel good. To me, this is a genius angle internationally because this is like the elephant in the room that no one's discussing. Like people taking advantage of like the Filipinos thirst to be validated by the West. Yeah, and that's what he's talking about here. Like, oh, the, just because you think you're from the West and we're going to be all starstruck and shit. And because, you know, we crave that attention, like to get that nod from, you know, battle rappers from Canada, from America, because that's where hip hop is born, New York, you know, King of the Dot is in Canada, LA, you know, got the best battle rappers. West Coast grind time. What do you gotta say about that? <clears throat> See, from foreigners who pretend our street food is also feel good, because a lot of foreigners go there to do that. Like the what? Like they 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 try to sample the street food and then they say it's oh it's, it's so good and so on and so on and then they get views from people. Oh, for real? So they turn it into careers. And that's what he's trying to get in here. So that's why I think this is such oh, a genius. Oh, I see now. That's what you say. I kind of was like, all right, yeah, no. Yeah, like he's Pinoy. I didn't even people. know they do that. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like, a, it's a like culture. Like a thing. food thing like going on where they do that. That's crazy. Not just food, but every, just everything. Everything. Pop culture. Yeah, yeah pop culture. Like, yeah, that's crazy, bro. I, a farm child activate. Feeder ng ego ng mga kapwa Pilipino kung sabit na ma-validate. Sa mga dayuhang kunwaring feel good ang ating mga street food daw ay kanilang na-appreciate. Uh, o baka naman make you late. 
Di nyo ba guess o bakit di nyo kay? Na tinag-advantage lang yung mindset Pinoy na kapag local sa atin fake, original, pag-imported kasi nang galing states. Baka oh sabihin mo pati hip-hop kayo nag-originate. Eh di ka naman black ha, kadiri ka. Di sa pag-aasuma, sa mga luma namin libro, si Lapu-Lapu na abling-bling na. <laughs> Tawag nyo ni Nebo Sabar. Anong pala mo? One of our national heroes. Oh. Like the warriors. Gotcha. Yeah. He was blinging before them. Yeah, he was blinging <laughs> way before there were blinks. From Cebu. He's from oh, Cebu. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. Alam na ginagamit nyo lang kami? Ha? Anong tingin mo sa aming mga Pilipino? Tanga? Bakit? Sino ka ba? Hoy! Hindi porket magaling kang mag-English! Matalino ka na! <laughs> 2013. Lumaban ka lang kay Scam at Psycho dito, di ba? Pero nakatikim siya ng 8 million views doon sa subtitle battle nila. Oo. Ako nang mag-expose, hindi nyo napansin. Baka sakali na ma-realize din talagang adiri as in na this fucking kid from the can of Alaska is just melting our scene. Oh! Look at me when I'm pissing you. Pipilit na itago, bisto. Yung reaksyon may halong piso Parang mga foreign reaction video Hangat mo sa algorithm ko mga ko Ito sa yung mga reverse pinoy dating Sa paing ko ngayon Ikaw naman yung kumata Kasi Bones of views Opportunity to sa akin na ikunit yung kwento ko Sa yung bansang pinagulan Canada Ang pinakaulang foreign country Na alam kong nag-exist like, Dai, speaking like, like, like how I think, like smugglers thinks how I think. When I battle people, I look at it as an opportunity to dress the whole country and everything around it. And like, bro, did you I know love that he's like that? That during this battle, smugglers himself can tell you his inspiration for this battle is your battle with Asasino. Right. Yeah. He, he kept watching that over and over to prepare for this battle, bro. Crazy. Yeah, bro. And that's why he's got this entire third round. Like, like the emotional shit. He, he, He's talking about his grandma here who just died. He who who worked in Canada. This is like some tearjerker shit. Yeah. This third round, bro. Like damn, I can't wait. Yeah, this. this might win the battle right here. Opportunity to say na ikunit yung kwento ko sa yung bansang pinagulan. Canada, ang pinakaulang foreign country na alam kong nag-exist. Dahil sa mga daruan, damit, picture, nalaman ng package na binubuksan ko ng ata. Padala ng kapatid ng lola namin, breadwinner, na siyang tumutulong at nagpaaral sa amin ng bata. Naalala ko tuloy yung lola ko. Pangarap na kasi magpunta ng Canada bago man ang sumamatay. Pabiru niya sinasabi. Hanggang sa netong nakaraan lang, kinuha na siya ni Lord. Tapos yung pangarap na yun, hindi na nangyari. Pero ironic lang din na itong si Sharon sa Canada ay piga ang taryo. Usang namasukin ka sa bahay yung kapatid ng lola ko bilang trabaho. Bigadang basahan ng hawak, punas piga, punas piga. Di ko wakalain ka ako na darating ang araw na kalahi naman na mga mabait niyang amo ang aking ilalampas. Sana prof yun sa akin kahit paano. Saan man yung mga yapak kung nadala? Lalo ka na lola, sana nakangiti sa akin ang iyong mga mata. Ako lang tutupad ng pangarap mo, kaso mukhang ang mga paa kung ay tatapak muna ng Canadian bago tumapak ng Canada! Real talk, we are all gonna die one day. Whether by natural cause or gunplay. But if you ask me if there's anyone who deserves to pass away, I pray to the sky to make sure won't go and let but stay! See? Our differences just about me. You pay for your hotel and your own fare. When I battle you and KOTD, they probably even pay me to go there. So let's just make this battle more classic, like it's fucking nostalgic. When you go back to Canada, tell that five of organic, the real king of the Dutch is our boss. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. He's talking about Enigma. Oh, Enigma. Oh, because he called him Eric. Is that his real name? Yeah, it's his real name. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because that's like a running joke to him, like the... Yeah, his face is all fucked up. <laughs>
Somewhere Sharon didn't take it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he also cheated and rapped like <laughs> a lot more than Sharon, bro. Yeah, that's true. Like, if, if we go say Smugglers took this battle by an edge, he, he would not have beat Sharon, bro. Like, doing it like two minute rounds and just fair, he, he, Sharon would have easily won. But would you battle Smugglers Unlimited? Hell yeah. <laughs> I like dude always, man. I like him a lot, bro. He's 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 he's, he's inter- he should definitely take English lessons, man. If you're if you're hearing me smugglers, man, and I'm down to battle you too. And this is this is this is what I'd be down to do with you, uh, is like we'll battle like a whole round where I'll rap in Tagalog and you rap in Tagalog, then we'll, uh, we'll both rap English and we'll do it mixed like the Asasino battle, especially since that battle influenced you so much. We could do that. Yeah, that's We could do that formula idea. if we battled. Um, I think, yeah, man, like... But you were mentioning earlier, you you, you want to battle Enigma? Was that... Are you joking? Are you... No, I'm not joking. I want to whip Enigma's ass, so... Um, <laughs> I want to battle Enigma, bro. Some real I spicy that, Yeah, I think that would be, like, the the best battle you would get out of us, you know what I mean? But that's if he's down. I don't feel like he's down. I feel like Smut, uh, Enigma's one of those guys who'll feel a type of way, like he feels like he could probably be better than me, but he'll never fucking put his money where his mouth is, type of shit. He'll never Let's put see. his balls on the table. Let's see, so that's going down. What? 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 What's going down? Grind time. Oh, yeah. So Grind as far, time. As far, as far as that, like, so. You want to do it there, or? Yeah, I would obviously do it there, and, you know, we'll see, I'll fucking make a deal with them and do some other shit, maybe some flip-top shit, I don't know. Damn. So, 2024 is looking to be a real crazy year for Battle Rap. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be on that side of the world, like, you know what I mean, like, this, this, this shit's dead out here anyways, there's really nothing happening, bro, they're not doing anything in America, like, it's, the scene here is dead, like, they think it's, like, blown up because it's just, like, a bunch of... It's like shrunk, and it's it's shrunk, but it's became more active. It's it got smaller, but they feel like it's bigger because of what they're doing. Like they're separate like, factions, right? It's just it's not. Like, it's like, bro, we had the shit lit, bro, when we were doing the shit. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. You know what I mean? So like, I'm gonna be back over on that side of the world, and I'm gonna be all over. Hip hop is over. all alive and well there, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Philippines is where it's at, bro. I mean, it's it, Europe, Philippines, and Africa in the Middle East is where it's at. Like, it's not just the Philippines, bro. Right now, in the Middle East is where the fuck it's at. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah. It's insane. Like, right now, like, Africa, like, Europe, like, so I'm taking over all that. I'm going to be battling in Arabic all throughout 2024. I'm, I'll, like, basically, I'm going to rap and I'm, I'm going to be battling in fucking Nigerian, too, so... I'm going to be battling in broken English. I'm, I'm setting my record for my fourth language, my fourth battle, my fourth language in the battle, and then I'm going to do the Tagalog one. Like, so, like, it's going to be... That's what people don't I'm, understand. I'm going to people. reach five fucking battles in five languages this year. That's crazy. You know what I mean? And, like... It's a different level, man. Yeah, and I know people are going to try to, like, re-emulate it at some point, but, you know what I mean? And that's good. I want people to be influenced by it. It's not going to be the same, though. Obviously, I do it on a completely... Well, nobody does it on a level. level. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, a more detailed... More like hands on experience level, like, yeah, it's not like observational from the outside. You know, I I really live it and become part of it. So, I think you know, the Tagalog thing, the broken English thing, like, those things are like really big parts of like you know what my my goals and what I'm trying to do right now. I've been like working on this bringing back Battle of the Bay and the DTEC shit over here and kind of took care of that. And now 
I'm gonna be bringing that back again. There's gonna be another battle of the bay. Um, Let's do it. One of the bays in the Philippines. Yeah, I mean, it battle would make of sense. the bay in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't make sense, but we're definitely gonna do a GTX Philippines, and it's gonna be in the next six months. We're gonna give you guys the date. You know what I mean? And uh, so Philippines, yeah, I heard it. And uh, shouts out to these motherfuckers, man. Sharon killed it. Sharon and Smugglers. Smugglers was amazing. Smugglers, you're a rock star, man. Keep on doing the shit. Your your acting ability is amazing. You you're able to freestyle with one of the greatest freestylers of all time, period. And you know, this is a fucking you know, shouts out to Flip Top for putting this on too, man. This is like amazing to see because shout out to Flip Top. You know, there's a lot of love there in the crowd. And shout out to Enigma too, you know, even though I want to battle him. <laughs> he's holding it down, doing crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Protege too, my guy, man. I don't know where the fuck he's at. But. Enigma versus Disaster, definitely. Shout out to all my homies, DJ Definitely Kuda, a so battle that I would want to watch and everybody, everybody's gonna, gonna be like all crazy wanting that battle to happen <laughs> after this drops. For sure. Who mean the smugglers or mean uh, you and Enigma, Enigma, man? That's gonna be yeah. crazy. I think I, I would definitely rather Enigma. I think Enigma hasn't battled like a like a time. Yeah, he year. still hasn't had a battle like me. Yeah, he deserves it. Yeah. I think I think Enigma for all the shit that he's done out there in the Philippines deserves to have a battle like mine. And he needs to end his career. He's getting old, you know what I mean? He needs to end his career with like something like that. Like how when the fuck is he gonna do something like that anyway? I'd love to see that. And I'm gonna give him his biggest matchup because I already know how he feels. So I'm telling you how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, uh you know, I'm I'm gonna give you like a real competition. Like I think me and Enigma will be the best matchup for the Philippines because we actually will go hard on each other. I think we'll both go off on each other. I think so too. You know what I mean? Like it's it's not gonna be like yeah. Going light and easy, it's gonna be serious. Like, I'm not coming with throwaway bars to battle Enigma, bro. He's gonna get hit with the whole clip, period. I already know. <laughs> yeah, man. So, Philippines, you heard that. So, watch out this year. A lot of you know, good things coming to battle rap. A lot of leagues doing their own shit. You know, uh, prizes the grand prizes are getting higher and higher. There's a million grand prizes, there's two million. Sunugat's putting up three million. So it's really a crazy year for battle rap, and disaster is coming soon. So you know, it's disaster strikes back. And disaster strikes again. Yeah. <laughs> disaster yeah. strikes again. Follow yeah. me on Instagram at Mr. Disaster. M R D I Z A S T R. That's like the most shit that I'm using right now. I even got a um, Twitter though too. Um, Are you active on your YouTube? Not really right now, but kind of like here and there, you know what I mean? MC Disaster. My Facebook, YouTube. you don't have a Facebook? I've, I've had a couple of them, and I never fucking logged back onto them. I fucking forgot that one. Follow Diz and all his social media accounts. Watch out. That's it. Break yeah. it down. We out of here.